What do you think is different about studying online and offline for you? Mm -hmm. Is there a big difference? Because a lot of students around the world, you know, mm -hmm. they kind of went in two different directions. Before COVID, everybody, mm -hmm. it was like 95% of people would say offline is better. Mm -hmm. But now I think that that's a, a different question. Mm -hmm. What I would like to say is that uh, I'm just trying to uh, remember that when I started to learn English, it was uh, real English. When I was uh, traveling with uh, the program of work and travel, and I was uh, in the state of Virginia, located without any kind of Russians, and then I started to uh, learn English much better. So it was like uh, when I go um, like for work, for uh, any kind of uh, restaurants, you are going to um, some um, styles of communication. These situations help you to understand what's going on, what words uh, would you like to um, uh, use. And when you are online, uh, if you can have uh, such situations, I think uh, they are could be uh, um, effective as if you are like located somewhere in the earth in the United States or maybe like England or Cyprus or where is uh, English speaking uh, people are. I mean, when you start to learn English uh, with Zoom or like uh, it's more comfortable for you. But it's really a uh, need to uh, live uh, with these situations, the real situations. Uh, probably, um, as you know, um, when the COVID starts, a lot of people start to just uh, like, like restaurants online. What do they do? Uh, they just ordered uh, the same food, like uh, maybe like uh, potatoes, uh, maybe meat, uh, eggs, and we started to cook all together. And after we uh, go Zoom and uh, that, what we did prepare, we, like uh, communicate about this one. So this is uh, the situation which uh, like for all the people which uh, was interested in uh, cooking, right? So cooking mm -hmm. is uh, this situations. And a lot of people were, were like uh, interested in it. So uh, I think if you would uh, if people make such stories, uh, it's very uh, I think it could be very effective uh, via the Zoom as well as uh, physical English language. So you think that they can both be effective? I think yes. Uh -huh. I th but you think that it takes more work to to be effective online. Uh... It depends on the people and it's uh, in his uh, tasks as well. So for uh, some uh, people, uh, if he is going to be a teacher, English teacher, right? I think uh, he should be like um, uh, to get some more maybe kind of context, context of a situation of the people who are uh, nearby with him. And if are just topics to communicate, just how you can travel for example i think uh it's enough for starting with uh zoom with online i think so because when, not everyone can can move to another country or go to another yeah. country yes it's not easy now but uh, uh for example for my last like, last travels uh with united states for a uh, uh for last month where i uh made a big trip from california up to the miami I uh, take my kids, take my wife to just check in in the hotels mm -hmm. or meals in the restaurants to feel them uh, alive. But there are uh, live people you need to communicate. There are different deep people. Sometimes uh, have a good pronunciation. Sometimes they just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, so you need just to understand what they're picking, uh, speaking with you. Yeah. Uh, and being in this context. So context is really matters, I would like to say. Context. 
is really important. Okay. Important, right? I think yeah. so. I think that that's really true, and a lot of people forget that. A lot of people think that the la- that learning a language is like in the book, like this means this, and that's and that's all. But the context can change everything, right? Sure. Yes.